We rained destruction across the planet. We thought it was the end. We were wrong. The explosions attracted unexpected attention. Two years after the nuclear war of 2028, society is starting to recover. The last remnants of civilization came together to rebuild society, but another life force saw the destruction from across the galaxy. They came to Earth with their sights set on humanity, and these beings have begun to invade our planet. Welcome to The Reaping, a sci-fi action game to be released on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. As the leader of a task force, the player has been ordered to use experimental weapons to combat the alien forces, called the Harvesters. The mission? Obliterate the aliens and free humanity from this invasion. The world leaders are hiding a crucial fact, however. They received a transmission from the Harvesters, saying they came to save humanity. Humans deemed worthy will be saved, but the rest will be left to ruin. The leaders refused that idea, and told humanity that the Harvesters are here to abduct and exterminate them instead. They united the surviving humans, forming a combat task force and a research team dedicated to finding a way to drive back the Harvesters. The player has the dangerous task of defeating the invaders and locating resources to aid the research team. Not only has Earth become an irradiated wasteland, the Harvesters brought along an army. The team will also prepare for the worst, fighting a Harvester face to face. They utilize their forces on the surface because harvesters are sensitive to the radiation. The majority of their forces are machines, and use small drones with the sensors to gather information for the fleet. If the drones find a human target, combat machines are deployed to that location. Their AI will be programmed to swarm around their target, boxing them in and incapacitating them. The player will have a choice to fight through the machines, or destroy the drone and escape in the confusion. Machines vary in size to handle any resistance, and the bigger the constructs are, the harder it is to take them out. Luckily, the player has a special tool from the research team, a wrist-mounted hologram called the Buddy System. This device can disrupt the machine network if the player is within range of the enemy. With the press of an action button, it brings up a hologram to select any nearby mechanical enemies. Staying close to the targeted machines for a few seconds allows the systems to connect, after which the player can order the hacked machines to attack nearby enemies, create a distraction, or self-destruct. Advanced constructs take longer to hack into and only assist the player for a short time before returning to their original functions. The buddy system gives the player a tool against machines, but it will not function against other enemies. Organic creatures that resemble large beasts also accompany the aliens, bred for melee combat and tracking down prey. They have been trained to hunt across any obstacles on the surface and are incredibly tough to take down. If encountered, it's a stroke of luck to escape intact. In order to emulate beast behavior, the creatures will utilize a smell system in order to sense prey. The player will see a ring around the beast that will expand as the player approaches. If the player enters the circle, it will turn red and begin its attack. The beast continues attacking and won't lose the player's scent until the player escapes or the creature is defeated. Other creatures are bipedal, use weaponry, and have tubes to pump fluids through their bodies, increasing their strength and intellect. They will be programmed with an AI system that reacts to player actions. If the player decides to rush towards the enemy, the AI will try to lure them into a trap. This requires the player to stay alert during fights. However, these adversaries pale in comparison to the army's greatest challenge, the Harvester Masterminds. The skin covering their body is as tough as armor, and they are capable of taking out an entire battalion on their own, but their mind is their greatest asset. These lifeforms are quick learners and adapt to situations in seconds. The same trick won't work on them twice, and unlike the rest of the enemies, the Harvesters fight by their own rules. Each one uses a special ability, giving each encounter new challenges to overcome. Through their alien powers, they can affect the environment around them in unique ways, like creating barriers or generating offensive blasts. The first example of these powers in action will be a telekinetic harvester, throwing objects around the battlefield from afar. In addition, these enemies will be battled in phases. Their ships are equipped with machines and creatures to defend from attacks. The player can try to eliminate these targets or save their energy and try to sneak aboard the ship. Fighting to the ship takes time and resources, but succeeding gives the player resources to make future encounters easier. After gaining access to the ship, the player will have to find and eliminate the Harvester inside. 
they will be in unknown territory with no map or outside communication. These encounters will force players to plan an attack that will not be easily thwarted by the harvesters. Defeating one in battle will put the remaining harvesters on high alert. With enough harvesters defeated, the player will attract the attention of their leader, the Cosmos Queen. Each harvester's power derives from her abilities, making her the toughest challenge humanity will face during the invasion. She can use the powers of all previous harvesters at once, and fights ruthlessly to achieve her goal. To have a chance at defeating the Cosmos Queen, the player will need to exploit the weaknesses in the harvester force. After discovering a disabled drone, the player will learn that harvester machines can be overloaded if they take in too much electricity. The extra energy short-circuits the system, causing an explosion. This damages enemies caught in the blast radius. Creatures are seen avoiding heat sources, and will flee from them. If the player hits a creature with a heated weapon, it will attempt to escape. While the radiation doesn't affect the creatures, it is destructive to a harvester's body. If its defenses are lowered and is exposed to radiation, the harvester quickly loses strength until it is completely immobile. These weaknesses are vital to the squad's success, and have been the primary focus of the research team. There will be a wide array of weapons for the player to choose from, each one designed to exploit these weaknesses. For a ranged approach, the player can pick from weapons like a bow that fires electric arrows to quietly eliminate machines, or the player can pick a flamethrower if they want a direct approach to forcing out creatures. Ranged weapons also include sniper rifles, shotguns, and phasers inspired by other sci-fi titles. The player will have access to irradiated ammo for these weapons to harm the harvesters. Ammunition for ranged weapons can be heated or charged to deal elemental damage as well. Elemental strikes aren't limited to ammo, however, as the player starts the game with an elemental staff. This weapon will give the player a fighting style that has fluid motions, letting the player elegantly eliminate their targets. This does low damage, but performs quick strikes on the target. The player will also unlock a blade that can be heated or charged. This produces heavy damage with each strike, but attacks much slower. With a variety of weaponry available to the player, they will have to consider how gear is distributed across the team. Characters can carry one primary weapon and a simple sidearm, however players can unlock the ability for team members to equip an additional primary weapon instead of the sidearm using a badge system. In addition, badges exist to equip extra medkits, enhance aim, or absorb more damage. These badges represent training of individual members by showing their proficiencies. The player can find some badges in the field and earn others by completing bonus objectives and missions. Badges can also have non-combat uses, such as locating hidden resources in the field for the research team. Not only does the research team design elemental weapons, but they have managed to combine harvester technology and special resources into exosuits. These suits offer protection from radiation and enemy attacks and are customizable. Using resources they collect, players will have to choose how to use them when every upgrade matters. The choice between an extra attachment or reinforced defense could mean victory or defeat. There will also be unique targets to defeat for the final upgrades to the suit. Since upgrades depend on these resources and only one team member will receive them, it is important to decide each member's duties. A key responsibility as leader is to give the squad orders to activate during a fight. Flanking, spraying fire, or healing duties are assigned to trigger under specific circumstances. With customizable tactics, team actions can be set to fit any playstyle. As the leader of the team, survival of the squad is essential. The landscape has been ruined by nuclear warfare and battle with the harvesters. Most standing buildings have been reduced to twisted metal and debris littered with crevices. These are the perfect spots to set up an ambush or escape through, but keep an eye on your teammates. If they all go down, the mission fails. Succeed, and the player will push back the harvesters and defeat them one by one. During the player's journey, he realizes there is one final challenge waiting. A massive ship overhead, carrying the Cosmos Queen. Fighting against the harvester army using the best weapons acquired, the player attempts to save humanity. In this final encounter, the Cosmos Queen will give the player a choice, admit defeat, survive, and let humanity be taken, or fight until the end in the hopes they can save all of humanity and drive the harvesters off of Earth.